Hi there everyone, this is Sean007-1986. I hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday. Alright, so I gotta give it, so I have to say something. I know all of y'all is hoping for me to do my, uh, <clears throat> my, you know, my NFL picks, my NFL playoff picks videos for the AFC to the, uh, this some Wednesday. Well, I got some bad news. Um, we have a lot of stuff that's happening and also with, uh, you know, me, uh, <laughs> kind of forget about it. I'm pushing that back to next Wednesday, to next Wednesday, which it's, which makes sense though, you know. Because, you know, that'd be where we're in the thick of things in preseason and whatnot. So, for if those of you who are hoping for it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, um, you know, work has been, well, fucking work with me. So, but, so I know y'all was hoping for it. I know y'all was hoping for me making some bad picks on this one. So you can put it in the comments, like, saying I don't, that I might be on something. And you'll be fucking surprised that, yeah, that is true. So, you know, just want to put that out there. So, you know. But uh, this Saturday, I will be putting together a um, another uh, Saturday Night Slam Master, so be sure to check that out. Also got an Xbox Series S. I'll be talking about that. I might do a review on this one, because, you know, I got it yesterday and whatnot. Now, out that way, I've been thinking about this one on sports, and I look at this on t from Ticket TV, and, well, given the... And well, given what's happening at ESPN lately, it's becoming very, very, very apparent, uh, very um, apparent right now. ESPN is dying. It, ES, I feel like ESPN is about to die. Listen, back in the day, back in the day, ESPN was the go-to network for your sports coverage. If you have they talk about everything, sports, stats, players, teams, who's making it to the playoffs, who's not making it to the playoffs, all that. Back in the day, it was really, really great, and it has way, way lovable uh, personalities. But now, you know what it is nowadays, guys? It's a former self of itself, and it's really sad to think about it. I mean, peek this, okay? It's just that, you know, nowadays with the whole... F you know, you already know what's going on with Disney, right? Okay, yeah. Disney has been hemorrhaging God knows the money. They lost like $900 million after last year after making a series of flop projects and flop movies. Probably because most of the movies that they like to make are have to fit in, have to push in identity projects. And unfortunately, for some dumbass reason, they still keep on going going on. I mean, hell, it didn't help the fact that they had that they hire writers and directors who don't even who don't even respect the source material and they want to change it the way it is. Like, for example, uh, the director for Sec for Marvel's Secret. Secret Invasion, you know, the one that stars Sam Jackson? Yeah, we, we all know how that turned out, and he, he decided to come out and say that he doesn't he doesn't expect, he doesn't care what the fans think of it, and that they need to lower their expectations. I mean, well, I mean, should no surprise, I mean, their episodes were totally shit, um, they destroyed uh, Sam Jackson's Nick Fury character, because apparently destroying him and destroy him and fucking Captain Marvel wasn't fucking enough. And it, it was bad, but I'm not going to touch on that one. I'm going to not watch that show. So if someone pays me $10 million, $50 million, I'll take it. But yeah, it's down here there. So naturally, so that's the, it's going to affect all the, all the companies, all the properties that Disney owns, ESPN being one of them. And we all know how everybody, and well, you know, there has been a series, a lot of bloodbath that's happening at ESPN. Most of them, they had to fire a lot of people, had to fire a lot of people um, to uh, manage to cut costs. Some of them, some of them really likable ones that, likable ones at that. Most notably, um, Jeff Van Gun Jeff Van Gundy, Todd McSay, Steve Young. I'm surprised Steve Young worked worked there, man. And also we just got word that Mark Jackson has got his walking papers. Yeah, I just found out found out that yesterday that J Mark Jackson got is got fired. I know it's a shocker, right? So Jeff Van Gundy and Mark Jackson, two of the three men team three men 
broadcast team during NBA games on ESPN. They're gone. Mike Mike Breen is still is still there, but for how long? Who fucking knows, right? And uh, you probably wonder, well, what is, what's their repla- what's their replacement? Doris Burke and Doc Rivers. Yeah, I know. No surprise you there. Of course, like. Of course, like everybody else is saying, everybody's pissed off about this whole situation because how come the likable people that people actually like, that Maxi make the make the de- make the network worth a damn to watch, is gone, but keep people that nobody like there. Those two, the people that nobody likes, the two the two top suspect suspects would be Kendra Perkins and Malika Andrews. I don't know why they still keep Malika Andrews. You know, this is the woman who claims that she cares about black men, but as soon as she gets on there, she only wants to push her bullshit feminist bulk bullshit and also likes to bury black men for whatever bullshit reason. Hell, she even went after she even told Draymond Green to shut the hell up about them about the women's uh about the WNBA women's pay gaps thing. You know, J- Draymond Green say what you want about Draymond Green, but He's the he's like the only dude who actually gave a fuck of trying to trying to make the um league try to get the WNBA to be more profitable. Cause let's be real, man, the NBA has been pumping some money into that to that dead ass league, and we all know nobody watched that league for the life of me. I tried watching it. Here's me. Here's me watching an actual WNBA game. <laughs> How, yeah, that's how me me in the forefront, man. Forefront, man. Yeah, I'm going to hell on that one. <laughs> let's, let's, let's not kid ourselves on that one. But yeah, man, it's like, it's really bad. What's even worse is that when people tune into ESPN, they want to tune in to listen to sports. Nothing more, nothing less. Instead, what do they do? They want to focus on social issues and and identity politics and everything. It's like every time when I tune on, when I turn on to ESPN, it's like I'm watching CNN. It's like I don't know if I'm watching an actual sports network or watching CNN. And you know, it's actually kind of interesting how they always like to push left winging uh, politics and all this other bullshit in their talking points and in their segments. But they also paid a hefty sum to. To broadcast SEC games during the college basketball, college baseball, and college football seasons, and nobody and everybody knows, for the life of me, the SEC. Most of the the SEC teams lives in states that are heavy conservative. Just want to put that out there. And I think that's one of the main reasons why um, nobody likes to. Why they don't like to watch ESPN much, especially as far yeah, especially about. I mean, the only people that's the only person that's still there is Stephen A. Smith, and they know it. He's like the only thing that people like to tune in to watch, watch, because they like to watch his uh, first tape. But they're gonna, but knowing ESPN, they're gonna try to stretch this man fucking thin, man, which obviously is gonna set him up to fail. That's obviously the reason. Another reason why I think ESPN is failing is because of the cord cutting. Like you know, with with cable prices going going sky fucking high and inflation that's happening in this country, lots of people are cutting the cords. Snip, 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 and they're now switching to streaming services, which is for some reason they're making a lot of money. Probably explains why the Hollywood, why the Hollywood, why there was still a strike that's going on over streaming residuals and whatnot. But I think that's one of the main reasons. I mean, come on, think about it. How much would you want to pay more money on a on on a network that doesn't talk sports but want to focus on other things besides sports? Yeah, me neither. And then there's also and then there's also uh, independent content creators like YouTube. I think that's one of the main reasons, and I think that's a bigger reason why everybody don't want to like to watch ESPN. They like to go and watch YouTubers who actually talk sports, and who actually talk sports. And trust me, there are a lot of YouTubers who actually do talk sports. I could name a few. If, I could name a few. Here's some here's some sports YouTubers, and I'm also giving a shout out. Tom Grassi, That Good Sports, Five Points Vids, Fist Vegas, um, 
uh, Ticket TV, Too Raw for Sports, Urinating Tree, The Goat, uh, Chisel, Ad Chisel Adonis, the list goes on. The list totally goes on. The list totally, totally goes on, man. And they know how to do some sports commentary. I even do it myself. Sean 007-1986. Yes, I yes, I do I do sports too. I really do sports too. You'd be surprised. you be surprised. I mostly like to do my sports, you know, talk about, you know, upcoming well, who got signed, who got fired, do my do my NFL picks videos, do my um break my pre my post game my post game talk on my team and also teams who play on Thursday night football, Saturday, Sunday night football, and Monday night football, and especially during and, and definitely during uh, during the playoffs, cause you know I like me. Hey, feel free to hey feel free to holler at your boy, man. Feel free to holler at your boy. But yeah, that's probably one of the main reasons why why I feel like ESPN is dying, and will e and I don't think ESPN is gonna change their ways. No, sir. No, sir, my dudes. Because they're going to keep on sticking to what what they think is the good option. Well, if you ask me, the good option is not really that good in all, all things considered. And besides, think about And besides, I want your honest opinion. And you can leave this in the comment below. Would you, do you really want to spend an entire NBA season listening to Doris Burke and Doc Rivers broadcasting games? No, listen. I love me Doris Bork, Doris, Doris Book. She's I like her, but I like her. She's actually pretty cool. But uh, I have my limits. Doc Rivers of all things. Why the fuck would I want to listen to Doc Rivers? Nobody wants to listen to Doc Rivers. But I'm actually shocked that Mark Jackson got fucking fired, man. Well, I mean the writing's on the fucking wall though, because you know Jeff. When, as soon as Jeff Green is left, I figured, okay, I mean, Jeff Van Gundy left, I thought, okay, maybe, maybe Mark Jackson might still be around. No, he got fired. And besides, I'd rather watch, and besides, if I need, if you want me to talk about the best NBA broadcasting group, well, if you want to go old school, it would be Marv Albert and Steve Kerr. <laughs> yeah, I grew up in the early 200s. In the early 2000s, man, you know me, you know me. But uh, currently, uh, I I like my boys, um, Iron Eagle, Grant, Grant Hill, Reggie Jackson, uh, Reggie Miller, and Kevin Harmon. Kevin Harmon is the fucking goat, man. I'm calling both games. <laughs> I like to listen to them on NBA when they do NBA games on NBA TV. Huh? But yeah, man, it's like I don't see that this is gonna work. And and even though they did sign uh, Pat McAfee to a nice ass deal to take over Max Kellerman's Max Kellerman's this just in time slot. But oh yeah, they did fire Max Max Kellerman. That was a fucking sucker right there. There, I don't think they're gonna bounce back. And like I said, it's gonna, it's really, really gonna gonna hurt, gonna hurt ESPN in the long run. Which also begs the question, why the fuck? Why the fuck, um, Joe Buck and Troy Aikman left Fox, left Fox Sports to join ESPN to do Monday Night Football? Doesn't make any sense. Although, I don't even, I mean, it, although I did like watching, uh, the Manning cast featuring, um, Eli Manning and, uh, Eli and Peyton Manning. Both of them are pretty cool. Also, Eli Manning giving, uh, flipping out the double bird, that's dope as shit. He shouldn't apologize on that one. He shouldn't apologize. He, that was him being a legend. I mean, he. I mean, and he, besides, they should give him respect if you think about it. They should give Eli Manning some mad respect because not only did he win two Super Bowls when he was playing for the New York Giants, he also was. He also beat Tom Brady in those two twice in the in two Super Bowls. He's two and zero against Tom Brady. Two and zero. So show him some respect, man. Show Eli Manning some respect. I'm, I don't even hate the Giants, for real, man. I mean, I'll, I'll act like, oh, I don't care about the Giants, but I actually do care about the Giants, though. And, and if there's any Giants fans out there, oh, bad, bad dog sports, Giants content creator, check him out. Check 
him out. Oh, and Master at Work. Patriots fan. Check him out, too. Check him out, too. Giants fans, tell me. I think that Eli Manning is, is, is a bona fide baller, man. You can throw shade at, at Eli Manning, but hands the fuck down. If it wasn't for Eli Manning, you wouldn't got those two Super Bowls. Let's let's cut the bullshit. You can talk shit about Eli all you want, but at the end of the day, he beat Tom Brady twice in those two Super Bowls and got y'all two Super Bowls. That's all I'm gonna say out there. I don't see no, I don't see no Smith is kind of trash when, when you when you had him, but he was but he did bounce back in the in, on, with the Seahawks, so you know there's that. <laughs> But yeah, that's. I just want to put this out here. But yeah, I feel like the way ESPN is going right now, it's not gonna look. They're gonna have a bleak future, it, and it's not gonna be pretty for them. It's not gonna be pretty for them. But I want to know what you think on this one. And yes, before we were there, oh, you're just an old man rambling. Well, you'd be surprised, cause I'm 36. I'll be 37 in two months. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm an old man rambling. So. Uh, you know, it is what it is, pimps. It is what it is. As always, be sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell so it opens our updates, serve your friends, serve your neighbors, send secret with others. And that's about it. Until next time, this is Sean007986 signing off. Thank you for watching this video. It really means a lot. And I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later. Bye-bye.